Greetings, you underrated DLC of the human experience, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome to the episode where today we're going to be focusing mostly on missions, because today, not only are we going to go ahead and unlock a reticule research, the final of all of our licenses, we're also going to do this mission over here, which I am 90% certain I haven't actually done before, so the first mission in a long time, I just have no idea what this is. Hubble, Bubble, and Trouble. It really sounds like a Halloween event, and I have missed a few of these, these different seasonal things, so if this is a Halloween event, it's a bit out of season, but hopefully it's something brand new. So let's fly over there and read the mission itself. It's 11 kilometers away. Why does everything spawn so far away from me? Does no one want to be my friend? Hubble, a bubble, and trouble. A better future's gigastack facility has gone down. Think of all of our valued customers missing out on our great products. The horror. We would like to contact you for some tech support. Don't worry, it's not complicated. We just need you to switch it back on again. We pay well, of course. And they do pay well. 50,000 block bucks, 1,000 experience, and 6 parts. That's not bad at all. So, with the autopilot currently on its way, I am slowly making my way to the mission. Yep. This is going to take a second. Hey everyone, as usual, Future Lathrix here, just to say a massive thank you to everyone watching this series. All of the positivity has been utterly heartwarming in a time where I'm trying to fix a million things in real life. It is so good to see one of these series on a game I absolutely adore doing so well and having such a positive reception. Thank you so much. It means the utter world to me. Now, in the previous video, I hinted 1,000 comments in the first day and disregarding all of the repeat comments, we still managed to hit 3,000 in in less than 20 hours, which was just utterly mind-blowing. And just 1,000 likes off the 10,000 goal as well. It is utterly insane. These are records for the channel, and hopefully they will continue throughout the series. It is amazing to see, and I can't thank you enough. So with that, into the episode itself, where today we're going to be doing some weird missions, and finally, learning how to make glass, or glass, or glassy glass, whilst also fighting ghosts. Oh, I was unaware that Hawkeye had solar panels. Cool. That's a big shield for a small tech I'm going to create, but you know what? I'm going to keep it anyway. I'm also going to be using the Hawkeye batteries, and probably is going to be kissing this thing out in just Hawkeye stuff anyway. A couple of small tracks, a couple of garrison wheels, and then maybe an auto cannon or two. Just something which is quite small, because this is basically a creepy maze. Well, here we go. I waited until night time to unveil this, so now we have our quad railgun, and this is the deployable energized railgun platform, also known as the deployable uh, energized railgun platform. There we are, lovely name, worthy only of respect. Okay, hello, Hubble. Greetings, valued customer. Actually, today I should say greeting, trusted colleague. Our Gigastack facility has gone offline. We need you to get it running again. It has three cores. You'll need to power each one up. It's easy. You just flip the breaker in each core to bring the facility back online. Well, not easy. The defense matrix has been engaged. Getting to the breakers may be tricky. The prism grid was made... Wow, I just realized I can't zoom out any further than this. That is definitely intentional. The ghost guardians have been released. You can't even fight those things. Oh, well, good job I added all his weapons then. Yep, definitely living up to my name already. And stop it all off, it's pretty dark in there. You better attach some lights to your tech, which I have done. Well, very small lights, because that's all I really had available. I guess I do have these very large ones. You know what? Sure. I don't like how he can just poof out of existence. Things shouldn't be able to do that. Wow, this is really claustrophobic already. Could you've added a big old gun I can't use. Still, at least we now have a minor combat vehicle. This is a permanent tech I want, so... Yeah. Lots of armor, lots of shields, lots of bubbles. Basically, it's strong for its size. That's the idea, anyway. That's what I keep telling myself. If I recall correctly, things aren't quite as they seem straight away. This maze is a weird one. I sacrificed some turning for all these weapons. Once again, a very smart thing to do indeed. Is that actually where I'm, meant, where I'm meant to get? Oh, there's one of the ghosts! Oh, God. Okay, go away. Oh, I am not stuck. Never mind.
Oh, that's it. They can only go a certain distance. Okay. I have been very dumb with my choice of tech here. Honestly, a little tiny hover tech might have done better. Is it like every time you hit a breaker, everything changes? Oh, go away, ghost. Thankfully, I have loads of batteries, so the repairable will certainly save us here. If you're using ghosts as a defense system, you know, hats off to you. That's not a breaker at all. Here's trouble. Oh, never mind. I make that double with me, bubble. Well, looky, we've got so a crusty customer wandering around our stacks. This is our Giga Stacks now. Oh, what fun we've got in store for you. We'll see what happens when you try and reach for the next one. It's called a breaker for a reason, you know. Okay, so they're going to try and kill me with terrible voices, at least according to me. Too many ghosts. Uh, you know what? Let's go this way. Yep, yeah, doing a three-point turn when running away from something is always a good idea. Oh. Do you know what else is a good idea? Going somewhere you've already been to get stuck again. Greetings, vulgar customer. Working hard for more blocks and block bucks. When will it end? Are you not satisfied yet? Well, that's just rude. You know, repeating it isn't going to make it any better. By the way, that's number two down. The problem is I'm basically out of batteries now because these things really hit quite hard and I am way too slow. So, I'm thinking... A change of looks is in order. So on the upside, this thing is fast enough to get out of combat before they really start. On the downside, its turning isn't normal. It's built specifically to drift around corners. And because of that, I can only really move using the strife controls, which are a bit fiddly to say the least. Also, the fact we're floating makes the ghosts a lot less likely to hit me. They do eventually hit me, though. I just gotta be careful. Okay, there we go. Ooh, not there. Where do you go then? I could have swore it was that way. I'm trying to go from my memory from multiple years ago. Aha! Is this it then? Lathrox and Mazes don't normally go together all that well. Oh, there we go. Lots of enemies. I'm gonna take that as I'm going the right way. Ow. Or I'm about to go right back to the start. Okay, that's a different gun. Ooh, finally! An open space! Look at me being able to turn now! See? I drift! Okay, do I need to land? Yes, I do. No fair! We'll be back! Of course you will. Oh, everything's all good. Speak to Hubble! Lovely. Can I just, like, float over this? Yep. Trusted colleague! Wow, you made it out here. Ha, but of course you did. Well done. Yeah. My counterpart seemed to be corrupted by the Doom virus. Bubble and trouble weren't always bad. I can't believe they weaponized this facility. I'll have to speak to corporate. Yeah, you're doing just fine. But anyway, congratulations are in order. Well done. <laughs> and there we go. Sorry, Hubble. We'll rescue you soon, I think. Lots of gloating like true villainous villains. And once again, don't trust someone who can do that. Do we get anything shiny? Um, ooh, a Plague Doctor mask. I'll take that as a yes then for shiny things. I didn't grab the right thing. But still, a Plague Doctor mask will always make Lathrix happy. After all, he is a microbiologist, a pathologist, in fact. So a bit of plague is always fun. So next up is In Search of Science. This is the one to get reticle research. 
Let's re-add our motion machine. And with that, autopilot is re-engaged. And I'm going to go get a drink. Your target is in the middle of this biome. Uncover the target's intentions and report back to HQ. Oh, I remember this one as well. This one is annoying in all the right ways. Also, a really, really pretty biome. It's a nice biome, but with all the added prettiness of ruins. Okay, let's land ourselves here, and once again, we're going to go into our little hover. I'm glad I built this hover from scratch in the end, since I accidentally sold the old one, because I'm using it so much. So at least it's one of mine. It's my little scout vehicle, essentially, at this point. Even if it does move weirdly. Uh, which colour should we go with this time? Oh, yeah, I forgot! Forgot about this one. Old fashioned better future. Okay, let's go with that for now. Wah! Must you sneak up on someone like that? Don't you know that scientists need space and serenity to conduct their research? As a former scientist, I can attest to that. You again! These indignant interruptions never fail to frustrate. Time to make haste to my hideaway. Oh, I've just realized I'm slowly turning into Papyrus. <laughs> I am not good at voices. I can barely use my own voice normally. Some kind of cloaking device must have been activated. Um, by any chance are they by the big reticule research logo I saw on the way down? Ah, I, I am indeed correct. Hello there. Oh, it's you, my cloaking. Oh, it's you, my cloaking. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. My cloaking device obviously isn't a decent deterrent. Fine, you have prevailed. You wish to know what I'm researching? Well, actually, I don't really know. Something in this area activated an alert on our laboratory apparatus, but alas, I cannot attain anything. But the fact that you managed to track me down makes me think that you could be of some use. My designation is Reticule Research Science Officer 80... You may simply call me Atom, if you wish. You will be designated Subject something rather pretty catchy, if I may say so. Now for a little experiment. I will conceal myself in the ruins nearby. You must uncover my location, understood? Excellent! Initiating in 3, 2, 1... Hmm. I know eventually he goes on top of uh, one of the things. Oh, yeah, random side note. If any Terratech dev happens to be watching, I doubt it, but if you are, I want logos like this as blocks you can place. Like, big stickers to put thick. Just big monuments to uh, put around bases. I would love that. I've always wanted that. Of course, I could just make it myself from scratch, but I'm not very good at the whole building thing. Now, where is he? Hmm, maybe this thing needs a radar, I just thought, since I'm actually going to use this. Originally it was just going to be used for races, but I actually really like how it handles. If a bit awkward, it's very fun. Hmm. Hello? 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 Wait, I can fly. Why can I fly? Oh, the adjustment thrusters. Wow, this thing can actually fly. Well, okay, this thing is now my favourite tech of all time. It can fly now. Aha! That took me way too long. Spin. Ah, you found me! Time to analyze the results. Data inconclusive. Hmm, I suspect my concealment was too casual. No, it still took me like 10 minutes. Unfortunate, but not unsalvageable. Perhaps this time I will position myself in a much more problematic place. If you can track me down, this time you will have positively proven your worth. Ready? Initiating in three, two, one. Boop. Okay, this time I actually think I know where he is. I think he's on top of that block over there. On my way back, I realized that I was shocked that I could fly even though I flew just after the first Better Future mission. I'm not the smartest cookie, am I? 
Trying to decide what to do, and I think what would be best right now is leveling up both reticule research and doing some more of the story missions for better future. The reason is, once I start base building, we are going to be doing that for a few episodes. It's going to be a big deal, making the bridges, all the different sides and everything else, probably the very next episode. So what I'd like to do now is get the windows from Better Future. We also, sorry, from Reticule Research, we also need the fabricators and the scrappers. So we do have the fabricator for Better Future. Obviously, we don't have anything for the Reticule Research stuff yet, and we don't have the scrapper for Better Future, which is annoying because look at how many rare resources we have just locked away in all these blocks. So I think that's probably the best bet. So I'm going to go out and just keep on going to different stations until we have the missions we seek. I also want a ground exploring vehicle. I'm getting a little bit sick of flying now. Lovely. Straight away, one of the things we wanted. The laser laboratory. Which is this way. Oh, you know what? I actually remember exactly what this one is. And once again, I think this craft's going to be pretty useless. The hover will be a lot better here. But I also remember hovers completely making this whole thing way too easy. Essentially, we have to turn off all these laser defenses. And that's pretty much it. The laser does ridiculous damage and will just tear through shields and blocks alike. So, how do I dodge this second one then? Whoa! That went way further than expected. Now, literally, just hit the shield. That's why it drained it off. But I thought it went like this. Oh, it rotates different ways. Okay, let's just go past what we still can. Ooh, that was way too close. Yeah, bringing this cumbersome thing is smart. That's a lot of health. Ooh. Okay. Having to do three point turns is very intelligent here. Just trying to think, is there any different things we can do here? I mean, we could change a lot of this thing. I mean, just, just removing this instantly makes it more nimble. But you know what? No. I'm not changing. Wait, wait, I thought I... Oh, I then have to take out the lasers. Well, then the railgun's finally going to be good. Super long range. How is that staying put like that? That is the most precariously placed laser. Now, sadly, even if you put down repair bubbles and stuff, you can't steal their awesome weaponry. Yep, yeah, this is the right craft for this. Oh, no. Uh, I need to learn the patterns here, don't I? Oh, I was almost too big for that then. Thankfully, I can at least turn on the spot. I'm starting to think this needs better side weapons. Though, I'm just happy I have such long-range weaponry. That occasionally perfectly missed the target. Are we safe to enter? Yes. Oh. So I'm guessing the shield's either behind that pillar or that pillar. Okay. So it's... Rush through there. I don't think these guys go over here. Ooh, they get very close, though. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Yes. No! How did that not hurt me? Hmm. So does this one go further in as well? Is it a matter of waiting? No, it's just waiting for it to turn back around. Okie dokes. I'm being so careful right now. This is a very expensive little craft, you know. Oh, I wish I had boosters. And yes, I'm fully aware you can just fly over everything in here. But where's the fun in that? I've almost been hit like three times. There we go. Go, 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 go. I still feel like that was really close. Oh, 
Lovely. Oh, we done? No, is a shield still? So somewhere we need to either click or just destroy. Yeah, so it's just destroy all the turrets. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe spamming some of the small kinetic weapons like the repeater rifles will probably make this tech a lot stronger. But saying that, we're not fighting normal techs at the moment. The railgun does a good amount of damage per shot over a good distance and can easily take off whole chunks against normal targets. And then it has loads of shields and loads of battery. I'm still really happy with this little craft, but I feel like I'm not going to use it. There we go. Meet me outside at the front of the building. Hello, Atom. How you doing? Those turrets are need replacing, but at least we have our building back. Your performance is impressive too. I must forward my findings to the founders. The founders? What? Surely you don't think I engineered this expedition? Outrageous! Sim simple serendipity. This is all. As someone who's dyslexic trying to read through these as they auto-scroll, not the best time for science indeed. Goodbye, my pyro sounding friend. And we get... I wonder what tier the windows are. Ooh, we get a couple of those lasers, though, which is actually potentially my favourite reticule research weapon, even though they have really good missiles as well. I really, really like this laser. Look how cool it looks! Ooh, yeah, a reticle research thing as well. Okay, so by the end of the series, I want at least one tech of each of the corporations. Obviously, we already have our Geocorp tech. That is our air superiority tech. I'm not counting this little thing as our Hawkeye one just yet. Oh, God, how slow does this thing turn? There we go. Lovely. And reticule research, I am definitely going to be using lasers. Goodbye, Dad. So any ideas for good vehicle types for each of the corporations are very welcome. So far I'm thinking better future is going to be a hover, obviously, probably lots of gatling lasers and stuff like that. Uh, rescue research, probably also lasers, but more of a science feel, so lots of weaponry, just a weapon platform more than anything. Hawkeye, probably an armoured tank. Venture will be an exploring craft. I want it to be an all-terrain vehicle. Geocorp you already have here. And I don't really know for GSO. It's so general purpose. Blaster battle. Ooh, let's go do that. And that'll give us rank two with reticle research. Or reticule research. I'm very tired today, by the way. Not getting any sleep. Chronic insomnia plus a lot of real life stresses equal me not getting any sleep whatsoever. I'm going the wrong way. Now that would be easy to build a base in. It's basically a base already. But that would be boring. This one's a nice and simple one at least. Oh good, you're trying to kill me straight away. Kill order approved, fire- oh, good luck at him. Yeah, that's probably for the best. So, we get to buy this proto-buggy, we need to test it. Nice and simple. How are you, Subject? Will you help us with a test? We've equipped a proto-buggy with something the boffins are calling a sonic blaster. We'd like to see how effective it is. Can you use the proto-buggy and survive it, the test crater for two minutes? However, our research is not fully funded, but you can help us out by joining our Early Access. To join the Early Access program, just purchase the proto-buggy to use it in the test. Okay, how much does it cost? Uh, which screen? There we go. Hundred th- mm, don't like you very much. Do I have to do- th I have to do this, don't I? Well, that's just irritating. This is what I get for wanting windows in my base. But seriously, the windows are really cool, so it is worth it. But still... Ooh. Oh, I remember this. The first time I ever did this mission, it was bugged. Uh, the Sonic Blaster wouldn't aim up or down, so I couldn't really hit anything, so I just ran around screaming in pain. Well, actually, it was more silently being annoyed in pain. Well, at least let's make this thing our own. Where are you? There it is. 
Um, because who doesn't want a butt hat? Oh, but apparently a butt turkey. Begin the test. Yeah, so like I was saying, this very first version, uh, the weapon couldn't aim up or down, which is really bad in a sloped arena. So actually trying to line up a shot was near impossible. I do like the Sonic Blaster, actually. I like all of Reticule Research weapons. I still think the basic laser is the best because it just looks so nice. But this is also a very satisfying weapon. It's got a nice thump to it when it fires. Ah, oh, pull my first tech. On the upside, you're getting a little bit of uh, money here. Actually, no, we're not. Oh, so we can perhaps gain some experience for GSO doing all this. Oh dear. Maybe I should just keep on running. I think fighting is not the best course of action here. As long as I keep moving, their weapons don't do a good job on tracking me perfectly. Just one minute left. Just have to suffer through this for one more minute, guys. Don't worry. The video will end soon, and then you'll be free. Can't really hit things ourselves with the um, tracking in this game. So if the thing's directly behind us, we can hit it. So let's just focus on that. Come on, Mr. Lol. Get destroyed. Please. 30 seconds. Oh, hello. That's a problem. Nope, never mind. Not a problem. Just keep on moving and everything is fine. I keep hearing the money sounds, so that's clearly just not being added. Go away. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... There we go. Test complete. Do we get windows? Please see me for a debrief. We've got some great data now. That proto buggy is your property too, obviously. Well, with how overpriced it is, certainly hope so. I have no need for you at the moment. Feel free to self-destruct. <laughs> or just continue with whatever you were doing before. Either is fine. What a lovely guy. Oh, windows! There we go. So it is grade two for the windows. Do we get any of this first time? Nope, we do get a really scary looking weapon. Ooh, what was that as well? Was that the fabricator maybe? Ooh, don't destroy the gun. There we are. The Giga Plasma. Very nice. But did we get anything which we needed? Wonderful. We got both the scrapper and the fabricator. That is exactly what we needed. Uh, did we get any of the windows? We got some of the wall panels, so that's really cool. These are going to be fantastic around the base to contrast all of the Hawkeye's more military-looking stuff. This looks a little bit more civilian, a bit cleaner, so we can use that. There's also these corner panels, which look so nice. Yeah, loads of wall stuff. In fact, I think we should probably do another rescue research mission. I think we need some more of the other stuff. Oh, it even gave us the missile launcher. And fire. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can do one more mission. If not, we'll go back to the base and we'll start fabricating, or at least checking out what we can fabricate. Ooh, we can actually fabricate, like, all of the windows already. Need some fiber plating, which is a bit annoying, because that's wood, and we don't have much of that, but that's nice and easy to harvest. We can get that quickly. Ah, we don't have all the platform stuff, though, which is a shame. We do have a lot of it, though. We do have a lot of it. Maybe I should just... You know what? I think I'm going to do what I said. So I'm going to check if there's an easy mission we can just quickly do to grab some extra stuff, and if not... We'll go back home and we'll start fabricating some of the windows and adding those to the corner we've already completed at the base. Just to check it all out. That sounds like a good idea to me. Or we start adding some safety rails using the new walls so I don't constantly fall off. Now for a good 15 minutes, Lathrix begins to harvest things which is against the rules for this playthrough before finally realising his error. 
Because we're going to need so many of these things. I'm just going to do some quick harvesting. I just threw this thing together in like five seconds. Nice and simple. Don't know how I managed to grab those. Set this to make the Fibron blocks. And that's it. Nice and quickly we can get loads of these together. I'll probably stop when I have like 20 because we are going to need these for loads of other things. So far I don't have the mobile refineries and everything else. Otherwise we could do this a lot faster. Because I want loads of windows, we're going to convert a significant amount of this biome into these wooden blocks. The windows take a lot of wood, and so, time for a lot of harvesting. I just threw this thing together in like five minutes, hence why it's an absolute mess. But it has saws, it has a fabricator, it has a refinery, and that's all we need to get all of this into the SCU. Loads and loads of chunks. Wow, we already have 11. I think I'll go until we have like 30, and then I'll move on. Though I've got to be honest, this is remarkably satisfying and very brain dead. I'm currently listening to a podcast in the background whilst I just destroy nature. I now realise I'm not meant to be harvesting in this playthrough. I'm going to keep the wood anyway, because I've already done it now, but I won't do it again. In fact, I've just left two behind by mistakes, you know what? I'll count that as my punishment. How is that repairable? No oh. I misplaced one of the repair bubbles. It should be a little bit further back. Um, sure. Further punishment. There we go. Let's return home. Let's make ourselves some windows and let's see how they look. I still can't believe I haven't got a better future scrapper yet. That's really irritating. Look at all this stuff. Hello, home. What we need to do, really, is build that cargo plane I was talking about. That'll be a permanent vehicle, and that will be able to take all of those components from the scrap heaps and take them back here, because they have a lot of the items we want. And that way, we don't break our rules, since we're allowing ourselves to scrap those. Now, sadly, the only block I could find which would actually scrap down into these crystals is just buying one of the resource blocks. Now this doesn't break my rules since I didn't harvest them and this is way more expensive than just going ahead and scrapping down an item I actually want to scrap down because I'll be scrapping down things anyway for all the other stuff but I literally can't find one item which has this crystal as a base resource and actually that's a similar problem to the light blue crystals as well. I just can't find any. Now there is a good chance there is one I'm just missing but it seems like it is ludicrously rare, if it even exists. I think the problem is, normally that crystal is used for components, and when you scrap down something with the component, you don't get the crystal back, you'll get that component. Which means you don't really have the ability- oh there we go, so there's one thing to get the crystals, so that's good. The blue crystals that is, but I still haven't found a single one with the crystal I'm currently after. So I had to just buy these in bulk. Again, this isn't breaking the rules. This is actually making things less efficient for myself and making things more difficult. But there's no real other choice. I'll make a couple more of the extended windows, then I'll make a couple of the small ones. I'm going to need some more of the Luxian crystals, aren't I? Okay. No more repeating. After this one, we'll make some of the smaller ones and then some of these ones. I'm going to go and scrap stuff which have the crystals in, which thankfully I know what they are. There we are, crystals away from all these useless lasers I've been collecting from all the many, many corpses. Until we have the secondary fabrication section, I've just added some refiners and everything else and a filter, so now at least any raw resource excess will be sold. Properly. Refined. For money. And we're almost done now. Made loads of windows already. Thankfully, outside of those crystals, we had pretty much everything else, and just loads of it. Easy enough to get the Luxian crystals from all of our lasers, easy enough to get all of the wood and the rubber from our wheels and smaller weapons. Yeah, we had pretty much everything. It's just a matter of these things. They're the problem. The pretty, pretty problem. The Ignean crystals. Here's how this wall looks during the day. And now, back to past Lathrix talking about it at nighttime. 
the striped GSO and then the alternating walls and glass from Rescue Research I think look really, really good together. And if we build up these a couple of layers, I think it will look absolutely phenomenal. So I think that is going to be the main theme throughout this build. That's going to be the base walls. So that's going to be the thing you see the most, with of course Hawkeye being used for bridges and for armoured points, especially the fortress we plan to build over here. Originally I thought this series was going to be really short, but now I realise how much effort even just that needs. It's going to be a much longer series than I originally envisioned, and honestly I am completely happy with that. I have been enjoying myself so, so much. And today has been really fun. Probably a long video of just doing missions today, but at least now we have all of that stuff sorted. So even more things are now falling into place for our building. So with that, I am going to be calling the episode here. The video is probably already way too long doing those types of missions. In the next episode, I think really all I want to do is really get some of the licenses sorted out. So loads of missions heavily edited down, trying to get as much of the reputation as possible and more stuff for us to scrap without needing to buy the resources which is just so so less efficient and honestly just more building i can't wait to see proper walls all over this place one corner is almost complete of this entire fortress thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed today's video then of course likes favorite shares comments all that good stuff helps out me helps out the channel and most importantly shows that terror tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future the game managed to crash four times whilst i was recording this video because my computer is dying so hopefully we'll have longer more intricate videos in the very near future half the stuff is already ordered my computer building begins thank you so much for watching have a lovely day and do take care until next time goodbye